Good evening, and welcome to BNN. I'm Al Gazelle. And I'm Solson Sheev. This week's Top Stories. Recently, the 6th annual Burn Jita event occurred at the galaxy's economic hub system of Jita, including its stargates and its main station, the Jita 4 tac 4 Kaldari Navy Assembly Plant. Burn Jita is a player-run, intentional disruption to the EVE economy by perennial brave enemies, Goon Swarm Federation. Last year, it was estimated that the goons destroyed approximately 15,000 US dollars worth of EVE ships and cargo. This year, despite the many warnings being disseminated in multiple sources around EVE about Burn Jita, many freighters, jump freighters, and larger industrial ships remained on their routes and met an untimely demise via the goons' suicide ganking expertise developed over the last five years. The first official Burn Jita gank was reportedly a providence worth 8 billion ISK and causing a 52% tie-dye spike in Jita. Common Burn Jita tactics include bumping at the gates and 4-4 undock, alphaing single targets with innumerable pilots, and of course, copious amounts of salt in local. This year, Pandemic Legion, no friend to Goon Swarm, initiated their own counter Burn Jita event in which PL flew fleets of bombers and targeted goons while goon pilots were bumping freighters. Reports indicate that goons had to reform into more defensive ships, like stabbers, to withstand the onslaught, but in essence had to stand down their full attack and thus see reaching their goal of massive disruption unattained. In other news, a major strat up occurred in 3GD in Catch, just two jumps from Brave's home system of GE TAC as Brave and its legacy coalition allies were keen to pop a pesky Alpha Astrahus that had been put into final timer. In the previous fight to get to the final timer, the Astrahus owners formed big, batphoning Goon Swarm and others to form a tough but ultimately futile defense. However, over the days preceding this final timer, at least three large enemy Ferox fleets were seen flying through brave space to dock in the Astra, in preparation for reshipping as needed for the battle. As the fight commenced during AUTZ, it became clear that the Astra defenders greatly outformed Legacy. Goons and their affiliated corps alone outnumbered Brave and its allies. Despite this, the fight initially went well for Legacy. But the defenders used a tactic of interceptor burst jamming the Legacy Basilisk Lodgy, which then opened up effective attacks on Legacy battleships with sharpshooting jackdaws in addition to the Feroxes. In all, over 500 ships battled on the Afra Astrahus with total losses of over 27 billion ISK. In the end, the Astra lived to fight another day. In a seemingly very well-received announcement, Brave Mildur Shattered Armor announced the redeployment of Brave's primary staging to our catch home system of GE TAC. The several week deployment to 68FT was to strengthen and support the growth of impasse as an economic force and to protect the ships and structures vital to that growth. Leadership has declared that this objective was achieved and as Shattered further noted, quote, just because we're staging in catch now doesn't mean that we forget about impasse. These are still our fellow brave bros, and I'd expect every one of us to jump at the opportunity to get them out of a bad situation, knowing they would do the same for us. Keep a jump clone in 68FT, an industrial fitted in GE, and if you aren't already aware of how to use the jump bridges between there and 68FT, ask someone." Unquote. Finally, keep your eyes peeled for move up pings, and also be sure to review the forums for updated hangar lists for GE TAC, UTAC Q, and 68FT. Well, that's all for tonight, folks. Tune in next time for more from BNN. I'm Al Gazelle. And I'm Solson Sheev. Stay classy. <laughs>